my late friend, Chris Rachin, said religion poisons everything. <laughs> and I uh, tend to agree with him. And it, it doesn't suggest that religion doesn't do good things. But on the whole, religion allows uh, uh, two things, uh, in my opinion. One is for people to, to stop sort of thinking and critically thinking about things. And two, allows the e- easy way of, of a sense of, of other people being absolutely wrong. And those are two aspects. Uh, it's not just in the in the, in the Muslim world, but in the in 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 the West, it's appropriated morality. This notion mm. that somehow, if if you become an ex-Muslim or an ex-Christian, that you are immoral mm. and and should not have rights, or or at least are a danger. So I wanted to ask you about religion in general. Yeah, I mean, I think religion is much more pernicious than that. To be honest, all religions, and mm. I do. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, apart from saying that, of course, people have the right to believe in the most absurd things and the mm-hmm. most horrendous things, uh, religion is not only a personal belief. It's a lot more than that. You know, it's it's institutions. It's an organization and power. It's like, you know, the Iranian Marxist Mansur Hegman says it's like a mafia. It's yeah. worse than the mafia. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's It just brings death and misery wherever it comes. And, and if it does seem to do good, like let's say in Latin America with liberation theology, it's because uh, the population are demanding liberation and uh, religion has to sort of uh, make itself in a form that will be, that will give it longevity and legitimacy. Do you know what I mean? Sure. Yeah, yeah. So in a sense here in, a, in in Europe, because it's been pushed back by an enlightenment, um, it's much cuddlier, it's much nicer, you know. It, and it's, it's, and that's it's much, in, a, in human history, it's relatively recent. It didn't used to be so Exactly, cuddly. exactly. And, <laughs> and I think it is, you know, put, push religion against the wall, take its power from it, and then it's it's something that can be tolerated in a way. But I think otherwise it's so pernicious. It can it just affects every aspect of people's lives because it's not just about morality. A lot of its tenets are immoral, first of all. Absolutely. You know, it's the height of immorality. But also, even the kindest, cuddliest one, there is always this threat of uh, going to hell. There's always some sort of threat to keep you in line. And that's the nice version, you yeah. know. Uh, In fact, no. I think no one mentions hell more. I mean, people talk about the New mm-hmm. Testament versus the Old Testament, but I think no one mentions hell more than Jesus, and 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 mm-hmm. and. Uh, Who's supposed to be the kind, cuddly version? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think in that, and then when when it's part of the state, you know, it is hugely, hugely detrimental. But I think one of the things also um, that the Iranian Marxist Mansur Hegman says is that you know secularism is great as a minimum, uh, separation of religion from the state. But apart from that. Uh, we need to work towards the dereligionization of society, and I really agree with that. You know about. Uh, taking away power from religion, treating it, he would say, like you would the tobacco industry. You know, of course, people have a right to smoke somewhere where you're not giving secondhand smoke to other people, but it's it's very strongly controlled. You have to pay tax. You can't advertise to minors. Mm-hmm. You know, you have to um, follow rules and regulations. You can't just go and uh, kill animals how you want beat your kids how you want, you know, and I think in that sense, I agree that religion has to be controlled in a lot more serious way than just secularism and the separation of religion from the state. Um, You know, because seriously, when you look at it, you have Ayatollah Khomeini giving a death fatwa against a British writer, and he's not even imprisoned for it, you know. Uh, they, They... give fatwas day in and day out, uh, and it's business as usual because it's seen to be, priv- you know, the privilege of religion to do whatever it wants. And and reining that in, I think, is hugely important. Education is important, but legislatively as well, to sort of target it and take away its power. 